Hi everyone, so this week's video is a vlog. It's a decluttering minimalism vlog. Now, if you've been following my Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official, you'll know all about Tom's car, how much of a minimalist I am and how much of a hoarder Tom is. So we have been very kindly lent a beautiful Subaru Outback family car. And what we're gonna do is declutter Tom's car, put the essential items only in Tom's car, and see if Tom can really embrace a new minimalistic way of living and get rid of those hoarding habits. This car is so nice. I quickly just took it for a spin around the block and it is so smooth. Now I'm hoping that with this new car that's been lent to us with the stress and pressure of looking after it and taking good care of it, is going to help inspire and encourage Tom to keep better care of his car. And also I'm hoping the fact that there's all these really nice little compartments, that Tom will actually keep this car tidy and organized as well. Now to help compartmentalize and quarantine Tom's natural messiness. I have bought a whole pile of these plastic boxes from Officeworks. So when he's in a hurry or he's tired, he can very easily just throw things into the box and they're not scattered throughout the new car. Also check out how much storage space we have in this car and the cover that goes across so we can hide anything like such as expensive equipment when it gets put into the new car. So to get started, we're gonna put all the essential things that must go into the new car onto the side of the road. And then that will hopefully allow us to get rid of all the other junk. Thank you, patronising Polly. Yes. Okay, we're making progress. Look, the boot is looking smaller, well, with less stuff already. But look at this, like empty containers. Like these could have been disregarded ages ago, but they've just been floating around in his car. Oh my God. We officially now have the start of the rubbish pile. I'm just going to pop it here and then obviously I'll get rid of it responsibly. We're tight on time, so we want to do this quickly. They're not yours. <laughs> Bag goes back a long way. Can we use this I, I No, I think they're, they're gone. No, we don't want to use those. No, don't put the back of the car. They need to go in the pile. I have been looking for these container lids for so long, and now I know where they've been hiding. Recycle. All right, so a new pile. This is the random type of stuff Tom has in his car. He's not a pea plater. All right, random. Tom, seriously, like a golf head, tomato sauce. Like, do you even use this? It's got a label still on it. I'm the back of my house. We're making progress. This is a dark, dark day. Uh, really? Do you need that? Ask Henry. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Everything's going to be recycled, just so you know, but I'm putting it at least in a plastic bag. Ah, this is what you need to be using. <laughs> oh. That is so... That's not funny. I actually feel physically here. Oh my god. This is going to take all day. Not only more missing Tupperware containers, but this is just absolutely foul. Mm. That is <laughs> covered in hair, fluff, and green growing mold. There's not that. No, no, no. And this is why I don't get sick. Good immune system. More cutlery. More moldy, dirty. Oh, look, the actual mold is growing between the two forks of the. That is just. That is special. There is a sign. Oh, oh my god, I can actually see the base of the lid. Like. Yeah, lids, lids everywhere. Did we ever put anything in the bin? Well, we are now. Oh, my needles. I mean, that is just, just I can't, I can't. If they're all stuck together with the more lids, there's caps everywhere. All right, what is that? Like, come on. It's actually like mold growing inside this as well. No wonder you've got hay fever problems. <clears throat> an allergy at mold, probably infestation. This is just, just beyond. It's a tens machine. Was it? Was. Was. Need that. Uh, more cutlery. Anything. Like, and more cutlery. Okay. What have you just found? Mm. Hey. You actually have a bag of hay in your car. You, this is just... I'll give you that one. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, no. It's stuff. I didn't think that arrived. Right. Mm. Yeah, it's good. See, isn't this actually is good going through all your stuff because you realize all the stuff you've got and that you don't need anything yes, new. But I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'm just going to get rid of a whole pile of stuff and not, not even bother checking with Tom because I'm pretty sure he's never going to know it was there in the first place. So he's not going to miss it. Just going to get rid of it all. Progress. Okay. Success. I am a woman on a mission. I am possessed. Take a spoon of mold and hay, perhaps. Just when I thought it couldn't get any more disgusting, I found a used toothpick that I think is actually the 
end has been chewed more than the actual brush has been used. It doesn't get any more disgusting. I'm filling up just bags and bags of rubbish and I was going to just to work out and go through all the recyclables separately later. But there's just so much stuff. I'm actually, what I've got is a paper bag, which is obviously recyclable, and I'll start filling up with the recyclables. I'm gonna be this little bit more efficient, hopefully. So whilst Tom is on the car, I'm just gonna, and he can't see what I'm doing, I'm just gonna seriously throw stuff out. I don't care, it's all going, and he's not gonna know any better. How neat does this look already? How do you feel about seeing how neat and tidy this is? I'm very pleasantly surprised, actually. Do you think you can maintain this? So we're now doing the back seat of the car. A breadboard, a random breadboard. See what I have to live with? I've just popped into the house to wash the keep cups so I can put them in the new car. And I opened up this thinking it was just water inside. Like I th I'm, I'm hoping this is gel, but this is just truly really disgusting. It's gonna be my most satisfying moment of all. I've gone and washed the keep cups. And I am going to put them neatly into the coffee cup holders where they belong. <sighs> I'm making progress. This feels good. I seriously don't know why Tom didn't actually get a four wheel drive with a big boot in the first place. I don't know. He could never have fit all his stuff in his existing car. So the boot is done. And now I'm going to tackle the biggest part of all, which is the passenger front seat. I have a feeling we're going to find some really seedy stuff here. It's like this car was designed for Tom. See, even his deodorant fits perfectly in the driver's seat. Quick, easy access. Okay, we've got a horse's spine, a nap, some Hello Kitty full scarves, and a present. Did you want to maybe open the present up? That's actually for James's Monica's baby, who's now three, I think, or two. She's two. Did Remember? You navigate it? <laughs> That's really embarrassing. Mm, Honey, I lost it. It was in your car in the passenger seat. I know. Well, they're about to have another baby, so we'll <laughs> give it to them. Paperwork. This bill needs to be paid. <clears throat> it's probably got my bloody credit card. A check. There's a check here. For $175. Ice scoop. Do we need it? Yep. Vitaglow. Why do you have no, Vitaglow no, no, no. in your car? Okay, I need it. Mobile coffee machine. Recent purchase. Thank you. Saving money. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need that. This is the good cutlery. Little wash. Oh, my God. Failed Equios invention. Just discovering all the very neat hidey holes where I can put Tom's stuff neatly into the new car. How good. Such as Tom's portable coffee machine. <sighs> Just when I thought I was done with the worst of the passenger seat and almost done because I can see the floor now, I then peel back Tom's car seat and look what I found. Yep. Socks attached to a hat. So Tom has been looking for this credit card for about a month now. Obviously it's been canceled or locked, but this was actually on the front passenger seat. It's definitely seen better days. Countless batteries, but this one, sunglasses lens, really? Just found some loose change, literally glued with dirt to the bottom of the car. I will be having a long hot shower after this. No words. Oh, I really hope this is not what I think it is. So Tom has conveniently had to go to an appointment that's just suddenly come up. So I'm on my own, but I'm making progress because he's not here. So he can't see all the stuff I'm throwing out. And look, two toothpicks. Yeah. A knife. Yep. No idea where that came from or what really it is. Not only have I found a $5 note, a check for $175, I found 10 euro and my driver's license that I lost ages ago. I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna throw it out. Very slowly making progress, but you can actually see for the first time in a long time, the seats. Yep, they were seats under all that stuff. Seats that people could actually sit on. Right, so Tom has lost his keys for about six months and because the car could always stop, we knew they were somewhere in the car. I have just found them. A pair of brand new car keys. On the upside, this is a really great workout. I'm burning a lot of calories here. To help make this progress a lot faster and more efficient, I have two bags with me. One is a recyclable bag where I can just throw anything that's paper or plastic or anything can be recycled. And then the other bag is just pure absolute rubbish. As you can see, it's a lot bigger and heavier than the recyclable one. Can anyone tell me what this is? It still has the labels on. More cutlery, more random odd socks. More cutlery, more money. 
<sighs> I did it. I have decluttered Tom's car. It's taken me, I think, three hours. And I'm now going to take it to be professionally detailed because this needs serious, like, hardcore industrial cleaning. Now I'm going to show you the new car and how I've organized things in the wonderful compartments within the new car so it is really easy for Tom to keep the new car whilst we're borrowing it neat, tidy and organized and clutter and junk free. Let's go. Also let me show you what I've decluttered. These are all bags of rubbish. A lot of it's recyclable I have to say. All right, so we're in the new car, which is a Subaru Outback, which has been lent to us. I have been able to organize all Tom's stuff. So he has his money and his hay fever medication and some keys neatly organized in this little deep pocket so nothing can roll around. The very important coffee cup holder or water bottle holder. In the door, we have Tom's home grooming salon. We have deodorant, sunscreen, and thickening hairspray which I never knew he was using it's like this car was built for Tom over in the passenger side for cold wet weather days we have an umbrella and we have a Kingsland beanie I think I threw out about seven or eight different beanies in Tom's car he only needs just one and then I think the most valuable storage part of this car is the side armrest we have Tom's dental salon here. We have some toothpaste, mouthwash, Bongella, a pen, a charger, and then under here, we have Tom's portable coffee machine, some Panadol, and some plastic bags to help keep his car neat, tidy, and organized. And clutter free. Now, because of the absolutely massive boot, I've been able to put all of Tom's stuff neatly into the boot, and we now have three spare seats. We can be a family again or travel in the one car together. I just need to get the kids' car seats installed next. And this is the massive boot that is kindly storing all of Tom's stuff that's been neatly organized by myself and will stay this way. Won't it, Tom? Ah, loving this. 